everyone good morning everyone uh, welcome back to my channel hair fitness 1047 today we would you a good day and a happy day and here this official new let's see One, 2024 Latin Grammy nominations announced Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month is being celebrated with a focus on music, particularly the upcoming 2024 Latin Grammy nominations. The Latino Recording Academy has announced contenders across 58 categories, with producer Edgar Barrera, Colombian singer Carol G, and Bad Bunny leading in nominations. Rolling Stone highlights the evolving music scene and the global impact of various genres and artists, emphasizing that listeners can appreciate the music regardless of language comprehension. Deputy Music Editor Julissa Lopez discusses these trends and the significance of the nominations. 2. The focus is on the upcoming election in a recent segment from Good Morning America. The focus is on the upcoming election, with Donald Trump campaigning in North Carolina amid a scandal involving the Republican gubernatorial candidate. Vice President Kamala Harris is emphasizing reproductive rights, while a new ballot counting rule in Georgia raises concerns about potential delays in election decisions. In international news, Israel has killed a top commander linked to the 1983 Beirut bombings, escalating tensions in the region. Additionally, a sheriff faces murder charges for allegedly killing a judge. Who was reportedly a friend? Body camera footage has been released showing a police shooting at a New York City subway station that injured four people, leading to public outrage and protests. The segment also highlights the return of a beloved player to the Dodgers. 3. WNBA players bring style to the stadium The WNBA pregame tunnels have transformed into fashion runways. With players showcasing bold outfits that attract attention from fans and fashion brands. This trend has led to team giveaways and increased visibility for women's basketball. Notable players like Brianna Stewart and Tina Charles, styled by Courtney May, exemplify this fashion-forward approach. Courtney discusses the significance of the WNBA's integration into the fashion world, likening it to the NBA's influence, and emphasizes how it allows fans to connect with players on a personal level for leaking zombie, Wells haunt Trinity Bay, Texas the oil and gas industry is crucial for the nation. But the issue of abandoned wells, known as zombie wells, poses significant dangers. A joint investigation by ABC News revealed that in Texas alone, over 8,000 orphaned wells have been left by defunct energy companies. Investigative reporter Kevin O'Connor, along with KTRK, explored Trinity Bay highlighting the alarming amount of abandoned infrastructure, including rusting rigs and pipes leading into the water, illustrating the environmental risks associated with these neglected sites. 5. How the fight for climate change relies on Mining Climate Week is about to begin in New York City, marking the largest annual climate event. A recent Pew Research Center survey reveals that two-thirds of American adults believe the country should focus on developing renewable energy sources like wind and solar, rather than relying on fossil fuels. However, the production of solar devices requires critical minerals that must be mined. Ernest, a senior correspondent for Reuters and author of The War Below, discusses the paradox of how the fight against climate change is dependent on mining. Despite its unpopularity among climate advocates,
6. Israel targets Hezbollah leaders in Beirut strike. IDF says Israel conducted an airstrike in Beirut, targeting Hezbollah and resulting in the death of a top commander, Ibrahim Ail. The Lebanese Health Ministry reports that the strike has killed at least 31 people, including three children, and injured 68 others. A search and rescue operation is ongoing at the site. Tensions between Israel and Lebanon are escalating, prompting the White House to advocate for diplomatic efforts to prevent further conflict. 7. Kentucky sheriff accused of killing judge a Kentucky judge, Kevin Mullins, was shot and killed in his chambers following an argument with a local sheriff. Who has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder? The incident occurred at the Lee County Courthouse, and law enforcement responded to a 911 call about shots fired. The state attorney general has promised a thorough investigation into the circumstances leading up to the shooting as the small rural community grapples with the shocking crime. 8. FDA approves nasal spray flu vaccine The FDA has approved a new nasal spray flu vaccine, called Flumist, developed by AstraZeneca, which will be available for self-administration starting next fall. This option is particularly appealing for those who dislike needles as it allows individuals to receive the vaccine at home without needing to visit a doctor's office. The flu is a significant health concern, causing millions of illnesses, hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations, and tens of thousands of deaths annually. Prompting health experts to recommend vaccination for everyone over six months old 9. NYPD releases body camera video of police shooting at Brooklyn subway station The NYPD has released video footage of a police-involved shooting that occurred on a subway platform in New York City. Raising concerns about the use of force. The incident, which began as a stop for fair evasion, escalated into a shooting that injured two bystanders. Leading to public outrage and protests resulting in numerous arrests. Newly released body camera footage reveals the moments leading up to the shooting at a Brooklyn subway station, which left four people injured. The footage is described as disturbing and may be difficult to watch. 10. Controversy surrounds Trump endorsed Lt. Gov. Robinson as the race for the White House intensifies, swing states like Georgia are implementing new rules that may delay election result reporting. Vice President Harris and former President Trump are actively campaigning to win over voters. Trump is in North Carolina today, where a scandal involving the state's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Mark Robinson, is raising concerns about its impact on the presidential race. Although Robinson will not attend Trump's rally in Wilmington, Trump has not yet retracted his endorsement of him.